Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 5th of April 2023. Holy Spirit. Stalker, stalker. <laughs> the 20th of March could be significant. You have a witch who's stalking you, or three witches, or more. 22 Quetzalcoatl. Somebody was watching you throughout 2022, Divine Masculine. Oh boy. Could be somebody from South America. Could be somebody who has air, strong air and earth in their chart and possibly fire too. This person could actually be born on the 20th of March. So that's on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. Six Pegasus. 30, the Empress B. The 30th of June could also be significant for somebody. That's Cancer season, and we've got the Lunatic 44. That's Pisces for me. Could also be somebody who has their moon in a water sign. This person could be very rattled at this time. This person, their emotions are all over the place. Um, it could be that this person is interested in somebody who is married, who lives at a distance from them. They could also be envious of a woman could be a Libra or a Taurus, could be a woman who has a noble background. Hmm. There's a coven of free witches who are doing spells on your divine feminine. They're trying to make your divine feminine act out to have some kind of fit, to act out of character. They're trying to get somebody to self-sabotage these free witches here. <sighs> the Temple of Earth. They're trying to bury somebody. Could be physically or they could try to get this person to bury themselves. They could be trying to get this person to isolate themselves too. To hide away. To keep quiet. What's with the lunatic? Clarify what... That was quick. The castle in the north, 25. 24, king of swords. 26, look at... Look, 26, 25, 24, that's crazy. Diana the fairy and 40. Diana the fairy. Diana and Diana. So there are two stooges here helping a man. A man who has a lot of money and power do something against the divine feminine. So Ayana, Diana and the mother of the woods could all be working together against the divine feminine. Or maybe it's Diana, Ayana and the Empress B, I'm not sure. This one could be an air sign or an earth sign, this Diana. The number 26 could be significant. Either they're 26 years old or they're born on the 26th. They could live at number 26. So we've got all these numbers coming up together. So this could be somebody who's asking a divine feminine's neighbors to spy on them and to manipulate them. This could be a Reiki healer possibly or somebody who knows how to play with air magic. Diana the fairy knows how to play with air magic, possibly water magic too. Fairy dust, she's got fairy dust there. Could be drugs too, since I said fairy dust. This person could take drugs or they know how to make drugs. This person could be a pharmacist, a nurse, a doctor even. Either they have some kind of medical training or spiritual training. This person is well trained. That's what I'm getting with this one. Ayana the fairy could be somebody who's more like very intuitive. Air and water. Again, air and water. Both of these women make me think of working with air and water. So these women use word curses and they use water magic to make somebody act out, maybe yell, scream, swear and have a fit so that's the tactic right now this diana could even be the daughter of this guy because they look similar 
This could be like a mother, a father, and a daughter, or grandpa, mom, and daughter. So this could be generational. There could also be a generational curse on somebody. Either there's a whole family of practitioners. These people could be very rich and they could be very rich possibly because of what they're practicing, the kind of spell work they're practicing. So now I'm getting a whole family of witches and wizards. Diana and Iana could be sisters, right? Diana, Iana. It rhymes. <laughs> So one could be younger, the other one could be older. Hmm. One could be an air sign, the other one could be a water sign. This one could be air with earth, this one could be water with air, possibly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 24th, 25th and 26th of March could have been significant dates since they were close. I was just looking like this right okay so somebody's being watched the divine feminine is being watched possibly by her own family members and it could be by witches and wizards who are outside of their family but all these people are practitioners so we're talking to divine masculine but i'm getting that this message is about a divine feminine but this could be about you too this could be your family doing this or extended family, could be co-workers too. Somebody could have a family business. Right. Quetzalcoatl, 22. Somebody could be from South America. Look, 22 is clarifying 44. Somebody's a master. Either they're a master magician or they have a master's degree or they're very good at something that they're doing. And it could be these people. These people could be very good at spell work, possibly. This could also be you. You could be very good at something. But these people are trying to drive you nuts. Or they're trying to drive somebody else nuts. Could be your counterpart. Could be both of you. Right. What are they trying to do to you? They're targeting you. They're throwing a lot of energy your way. They could be trying to hack you. They could actually be sending a hitman your way. The youngest son. So again, I'm getting there's some kind of family unit here. So this family is sending the youngest son your way. The youngest son could be telling you, giving you some kind of message too. This person might be um, calling you or asking you to go somewhere possibly. This could be a friend of yours. This could be your younger brother too. But this family is using the youngest of the family possibly against you in some kind of way to target you. These people could also be making this one act out so that um, he keeps causing conflict for you. This family could actually be doing spell work on their own youngest. Because I'm getting that these people don't really have... Um, scruples or morals the dragon the youngest son could be a fire sign or an air sign or an earth sign the youngest son could be from south america i don't know if these people are south american or from the north uh, this could even be a mixed race family some people are from the south some from the north etc Right, Leah. Leah is my mixed race girl. So yeah, I think this is a mixed race family. The first one and... Right, so there, there could be multiple daughters here and a son. The Spark 14. The youngest son could be coming after Leah because if I was putting her here, it looks like he's backstabbing her. Like he's, yeah. This could be you. You could have, not you, sorry, it can't be you because you're, well, of course, you could be a divine masculine who's a woman or a woman who's in divine masculine energy because you need to protect yourself from this kind of group or family. But there could be somebody who's close to you, who's posing a threat to you. 
you might think that this person is safe but they're not he could be controlled by his family or your family who's the youngest son who is this your partner or your friend who's the youngest son this could be your partner actually especially if your partner is an air sign or a fire sign this could even be a husband it, it's either a long-term partner or husband you need to use your intuition because there's somebody who's very close to you <sighs> who's your enemy who is this to you let's clarify again the 28th of september could be significant that's libra season but all the libra energy here this is also libra for me libra and taurus so this talks about love it talks about partnership so this is your partner or your lover or a business partner either even it's somebody you think you can trust but he's being controlled by these other people the dragon 40 could be a libra again or a I almost said a Taurus, but I meant to say Aries. Leah is Sagittarius here. Sagittarius, 25 and 5, 25th of May. That's Gemini season. Could be a Gemini. He could be two-faced because I've got Mishipeshu here too, which is my two-faced card. So this person could be two-faced towards you. And again, Sagittarius, Libra could be significant. This is Scorpio or Air again. 13 and seven the siberian wolf so whoever this person is they're evil eyeing you they're pretending to be your friend your collaborator could be even a husband but this person yeah he doesn't have good intentions look the empress of the fairies again he could even have somebody else that he's dealing with there are two empresses here this could be that guy i was picking up on who married uh, one sister then divorced the sister and married another or separated from one sister and then started going after another something like that could be like that too or he's married to even married to two women could be in secret right the gargoyle I stopped here lots of Libra energy this guy could be a Libra whoever this is but again Libra is talking about partnerships it's your partner or your husband or something stone fist yeah this is somebody's husband or, or business partner and the troll Capricorn energy Capricorn is the husband usually it represents yeah cancer is the mother I mean yeah the mother and or the wife and uh, Capricorn is the father so you might even have children with this person the 31st of October could be significant that's um, Halloween maybe this person likes Halloween this person could be doing something some kind of spell work on Halloween too the day of the dead this person could summon the dead this person could be a necromancer they could also summon some kind of underworld entities if this per if you know that this partner or husband of yours is really fascinated by um scorpio season by death by um halloween and all that kind of stuff this is your enemy look capricorn energy again the devil capricorn three times this is also capricorn this is scorpio libra the tree of life 47 so this could be the the father of your child even you might have children with this person if that's not the case you might have a business with this person you could be pregnant even depends now but yeah this person is doing some very dark things this person could even be doing spell work on you on your family with their family their whole family could be karmic to you the sea lion this guy could also be a leo 
with Pisces in his chart or maybe he's a Leo and you're a Pisces or there's a Leo and a Pisces who are in charge of this whole operation. Yeah, there could be a, a husband and a wife possibly or a mother, I mean a father and a daughter or something like that or a mother and a daughter. <sighs> a Leo and a Pisces could be in a relationship with each other. Also, somebody could have Leo and Pisces in their chart or they're on the cusp of Cancer and Leo. This could also be a cusper, number 22. I'm picking up on a lot of cuspers. Look, free, free, free. You might be seeing free, free, free a lot. I think free, free, free came out before either in this reading or the other reading. Um, these people are very destructive, so they know a lot. They're very book smart. They have a lot of knowledge about spell work not just intuitive knowledge they actually have lots of books on this they've read a lot of books and they're doing everything they can to, to ruin things for you why am i talking the oh my god you know i did this reading before and i was talking as if a divine feminine was watching so i was talking for divine feminine and it ended up the same I scrapped that reading, started again. Now I'm talking about divine. I'm talking to divine feminine again. So it's possible there's only one divine feminine watching this. Masculines are probably not watching much, only karmic masculines. <laughs> ah. Sharnabon, the wizard, number nine. Like I was saying in the divine feminine reading, there is a masculine. There is a divine masculine, but it it's not necessarily your divine masculine. This could also be somebody in your family protecting you who is a divine masculine. Could be an elder in your family. Could even be somebody who's crossed over. Could be somebody who's protecting you from the spirit realm. Divine feminine. So this could be the divine masculine I'm picking up on. An ancestor of yours could be your divine masculine or a divine masculine. Because um, sometimes your divine masculine can be a family member. It's not always a love interest. So this could be an elder in your family, whether they're alive or not still. That depends. They're watching you, though. So yeah, there's an older man who's watching you. Could be your father, your grandfather. Could be somebody who's passed away. Who is protecting you from the other side or is spiritually protecting you. This person could also know a lot about magic. So let's find out who is this Divine Feminine if you're watching. Look, he has the same beard. It's definitely the same person, so it's an elder. The 16th of September could be significant. He could be a Virgo. He could also be a Scorpio, an Aries, or a Gemini. Could be a fixed sign too with the world here. You could have learned something from him divine feminine you could have learned some kind of skill or you're inheriting your spiritual gifts from this person this is somebody who's very spiritually gifted whether they're still alive or not or they were very spiritually gifted these came out in reverse the wise old lady in reverse and the hodag in reverse so this man could be protecting you divine feminine from a woman an older woman and the beast <laughs> There could be an older woman who's summoning all kinds of uh, demonic spirits and sending them your ways like, eh, 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 go, go, go get her or go get him. But no, I think this is your divine masculine or a divine masculine who's protecting you against an older woman. So this could be an older man protecting you against an older woman. Could even be your father protecting you against your mother or something of the sort, grandfather protecting you against grandma who's a dark witch he could be a light magician she could be a dark witch so an older man is protecting you from an older woman who's a dark witch and look they have similar clothing so this could be your grandma or your mom there you go so this elder female could be a karmic and this could be a masculine the siren 10 
the Righteous Cold one, 48 and 18 ho -Oh. Somebody could have gone for a transformation, so this man could be on the other side, watching you from the other side. And the old woman could also be watching you from the other side, so some of your ancestors could be fighting against other ancestors who are fighting you. This is interesting. The Temple of Fire, the Kraken, the Moon, yeah, and Tudor. Yeah, so we've got the Tudors here. We've got this whole family with the red hair. <laughs> Not necessarily with red hair, but because they keep coming up in the same way I'm thinking they're family members, that's what's telling me that they might be family. So the Tudors are after you. So this could be a very powerful family who's coming after Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. But like I said, I think there's no Divine Masculine here except for somebody who's crossed over. So your Divine Masculine could have passed away. Or your Divine Masculine was actually a family member or it's just a Divine Masculine in your family. I think I said that 20 times. Yeah, so that's that's the message for today. And even the ancestors, that's weird because some of your ancestors are on your side, some are against you. That's interesting. Tower moment, Scorpio energy, and we've got Scorpio here. 18 is the moon, ho -Oh is transformation. So there could be an air sign male or a Scorpio male. Could be a Libra or a Scorpio who are protecting you. Why does everything have to go on the floor? Come on. Okay. So these masculines could be elders in your family. Do you have a divine masculine though? Let's see. Divine feminine. Even if he's not watching. I think he perished. Yeah, I think somebody has a divine masculine who passed away. Any living Divine Masculine for whoever resonates with this? Tudor. <laughs> 22 and 18. Could be a Cusper. But I think this is a part of that family who keeps doing spell work. So uh, Divine Masculine's family is relentlessly doing spell work on Divine Feminine. And he could be pulled into this. He could, um, he could be brainwashed by his family. Yeah, it's true. This divine, there's a divine masculine who's brainwashed. Sorry to say, by his weirdo cult family. <laughs> 